today's video, we're going to be watching a story time animation with trying different kinds of sour guns. And at the end of the video, we are going to try all the gun guns to see which one's the best. I'm Serena, and I know what you're thinking. She looks nothing like her family. That's because I was adopted when I was a baby. I was born in Romania, and I might have taken that small piece of trivia a little too seriously. Oh, I can't water the plants. Romanians are allergic to the sun. Does this broccoli have garlic on it? Romanians don't eat garlic, Mommy. But I have to sleep inside this cardboard box. It's a Romanian thing. You won't get it. That's a vampire thing, doofus. Now sleep in a bed like a proper human child. God, you're so dumb. I wasn't dumb. I was quirky and cute. But Fred was right. I just never seemed to make the smartest choices. Fred wasn't only my brother. He was also my best bud growing up. He was super smart and solved math equations in his sleep. But he was really awkward and hated outdoor activities. Come out, Fred. Look at all these butterflies coming out of their raccoons. It's cocoons and no thank you. You know they start off as icky caterpillars, right? Quit being such a party pooper and come play with me. But Fred just stayed inside. Boy, it's cocoons we... and no thank you. You know they start off as icky caterpillars, right? Quit being such a... Look at this. Look at... Nothing. Such a party pooper and come play with me. But Fred just stayed inside. I chased the butterflies and didn't realize when I ended up rather far from home. I was about to find my way back when suddenly this weird woman came out of nowhere and started showering me with kisses. Ew, get your germy lips off of me. I'm warning you, I know Kung Fu. Serena, I'm your aunt. I know your real mother. She wants to meet you at the ice cream shop. My what now? I didn't really care about finding my real family. I was happy with the one I had. But since ice cream was involved, I was suddenly curious. This is really I was about to get into her van when suddenly a couple of police cars came screeching to a stop before us and the officers arrested my aunt. They took me to the station with them and moments later, mom and dad came running in and hugged me super tight. Oh, Serena, thank God you're safe. You can't go so far from home. That woman is a kidnapper the police have been trying to catch. She works at the adoption agency and picks up adopted kids for ransom money. Luckily, they caught her in time. Whoa. The psycho woman was jailed for 25 years. But from that day on, my parents were attached to me like my shadow and treated me like a porcelain doll. They wrapped me up in bubble wrap when I wanted to jump on the trampoline. They put me on a baby leash when we went out in public. They even missed Fred's science fairs and chess matches because they couldn't trust anyone to babysit me. You only have yourself to blame. Who's dumb enough to just walk off with a random stranger? Me, of course. I was nothing special. I had no brains and no... Me, of course, I have no brains. I got none of this. Passion? Most of the time, I felt a little lost. But one day, I saw this 16-year-old Russian swimmer, Mariana, win a gold medal on TV, and my whole I'm life Russian. changed. I had posters of her well, all over my room Russia, and even bought all of her Russia. merchandise. I was obsessed. I want to be just like Mariana. She's a year old Mariana and Grande. she's achieved so that. much. But swimming is dangerous, sweetie. You could slip and hit your head. I could do that in the kitchen, too. We should baby-proof the kitchen. What? No, uh. I'm not a baby. Please, will you just let me try something for once? I'm sick of staying at home. I begged and whined and threw a couple of tantrums, and finally they agreed. Bro is a crybaby. I to take me to a like kiddie pool, whatever. I was determined to make the best of it. And when like, I entered oh, the water, God. it felt like I was finally in my element. I aced all the lessons and turned out to be a natural. Within a year, I joined the high school swim team and even won a local competition. And mom and dad finally stopped freaking out like headless chickens. Then I started Bro, eating it. and things just went bonkers. On the very first day, I was rushing to the shower when I slipped and went crashing into a girl. I'm so sorry. Oh. My. God. What? You're Mariana. Am I dreaming? Ouch. This is definitely real. 
Lysol Laundry Disinfectant. Eliminates germs, detergents leave behind. Lysol, what it takes to protect. I am such a huge fan. Oh, really? Is that why you tried to injure me? What? I... It was an accident. Ha! Huh, I doubt it. I eat jealous little wannabes like you for breakfast. Now, stay out of my way or I'll crush you. What? What a jerk! I found out from the head coach that Mariana was recovering from an injury at the local state-of-the-art medical center and would be attending our high school while she was here. Just my luck. Okay, the I'm universe on. sent my idol to my school, and she already hates me. I tried to do damage control and got her some welcome flowers and cheesecake, but she started sneezing and gagging and threw everything in the trash. Are you trying to sabotage me? I'm lactose intolerant and allergic to roses. How was I supposed to know that? You said you were my fan and you don't know this? <laughs> Some fan you are. I was just trying to be nice. Nice gets you nowhere. Work on your swimming instead, loser. Okay. What the heck? I know you're an international champion, but you can't treat me like this. I really admired you, but now I can say you're just a brat with a swollen head. Get over yourself. Huh, you wish you could be me. I have more talent in my injured little toe than you have in your whole entire body. You can put your entire foot in your mouth because at the next swim meet, I'm gonna beat you. I accept the challenge. Also, you have in your whole entire body. You can put... <coughs> That's hilarious. Your entire foot in your mouth because at the next swim meet, I'm gonna beat you. I accept the challenge. Although it's hardly a challenge. <laughs> I was pumped. I trained extra hard and spent so much time in the pool, I started looking like a wrinkly old grandma. But on the day of the swim meet, Mariana spilled an entire bottle of conditioner on me right before the start. Oops, I'm so sorry. Your skin looked like it needed it. I was fuming. I took another quick shower, but I was super late. And when the whistle blew, I was so out of it that I flopped into the water like a dying fish. I lost badly. And Mariana sailed through the water gracefully like a swan. But what she did next shocked the bubbly farts right out of me. Mariana stepped off the stage after taking her prize and kissed Fred. Hey, what the heck are you doing to my brother? Stand behind me, Fred. I'll protect you from this soul-sucking mermaid. Serena, Fred has told me so much about you. We met in the library the other day, and I said I was craving some Russian pastries. He got me some the very next day. Fred is a real gentleman. And you're a real lady. What was happening? Fred looked genuinely happy, but Mariana was bad news. The way she'd swam earlier, it didn't look like she was injured at all. But before I could confront her, they left. What a bunch of love-struck jerks. <clears throat> I was so depressed, I spent a couple of hours at my favorite ice cream shop eating my feelings. But once the banana splits were gone, I headed home and to my surprise, I saw Mariana across the street. She was dressed like some weird spy and went inside a dirty looking alley. I followed her and I don't she understand how she got stuck from some Cause this stuff. says I have to live in wa in the water. Doesn't look like she's living in the water. We're only seven minutes in. Hey, what you got there, bestie? Did you hit your head on that dive? I am not your bestie. Is it Russian candy? Is it awake? Or is it a whole new personality you use only when Fred's around? It's your brother's heart. And it's all mine. She was a piece of work and super suspicious. I wanted to follow her, but I was already late. Mom and Dad would probably send a SWAT team after me. So that night, I borrowed Fred's laptop and did some research. I found a few articles about Mariana's injury, but then I found a creepy Reddit thread about athletes using performance-enhancing pills. I was shocked. Is that how Mariana had swum so well in the competition with an injury? I had to find out. But the next day, I walked into school and everyone was talking about Mariana and Fred like they were a celebrity couple. Fred, of all people, was popular. He suddenly had this confidence I'd never seen before. It was kind of awesome. But Mariana was ruining swimming for me. We've decided I'll take your place on the swim team for regionals. What? You can't do that. You're not even a permanent student. 
Aren't you supposed to be injured and resting? Coach? I'm sorry, Serena. We have a chance to compete with an international gold medalist on our team. And she seems strong enough now. I was so mad, I tore up all of her posters from my room and trashed all <laughs> She's the She's a little old cat. All I wanted to be was noticed by my idol, but she just turned out to be a massive jerk. I was gonna bring her down if it was the last thing I did. Hey, Mariana told me what happened. It was really sweet of you to give her your place. She really needed this. I didn't give up anything. Your evil girlfriend pushed me out. Swimming is the only thing I'm good at, but she couldn't even let me have it. Look, I know you're hurt, but she's a good person. It's all an act. She's only pretending to be your girlfriend to get under my skin. Yes, Serena. I'm sure my relationship is all about you. Everything is always about you. The only reason a girl could want to be with me is to get back at you. Not because I have anything worth liking, right? Wow. I didn't know you were so desperate to be like. You'll defend the devil herself. Some brother you turned out to be. I hated the look of hurt in Fred's eyes, but I was just so mad. The next day, I sneaked into the gym and went through Mariana's locker, and I found the pack. package she'd taken from the man in the alley and it had pills inside. I ran to the head coach and showed him everything. Mariana went ballistic. They aren't what you think. I'm not a cheat. Then explain how your injury healed so quickly. You're lying, Mariana, and I have proof. Stop this, Serena. You don't know what you're talking about. No. For once, I'm the smart one and you're being dumb. She played you with her big eyes and pretty face. She's just a cheating witch. Stop calling me that. And then she pushed me into the water. The head coach insisted on getting her tested, and she went bananas. She started ripping up pool noodles with her teeth and threw swimming flippers at the... Bro, you turned into Hulk. When did you feel that DNA test? <laughs> I mean... Like that crazy. Students like a mad person. Two coaches had to drag her away, and she was suspended during the investigation. But I wasn't even happy about it. My teammates were mad at me for being a sneak. Fred wasn't talking to me, and Mariana? All the blood work came out clear. Turns out, the pills were special Russian vitamins. But she was so messed up with all the media attention and headlines, she completely failed at the regionals. I felt like a total jerk. It was time for me to apologize. Hey... I'm sorry about the whole mix-up. As if your plan worked. I lost the competition and my reputation. Now you can have your perfect life back. Perfect? My life is not perfect. My adoptive family is the bomb, but I've always felt a bit lost since I was a kid. Swimming makes me feel like I belong, and you took that away from me. Yes, I did. Because I'm better at it, and it's me. Yes, I did. Because I'm better at it. And it's good for the team. But Fred was right. You're a selfish, spoiled brat who only thinks about herself. I was so mad, I slapped her hard across the cheek. We were rolling around on the floor fighting like cats when suddenly Fred came in between. What the heck is wrong with you two? She started it. She's always hated me. That's enough. I love you both, but this needs to stop. You, you love me? Are you okay? Do you have brain fever? Stop it, Serena. After all these years, I've taken a back seat while mom and dad obsessed over you. I thought you'd be okay with me being the center of attention for once. It was true. Mom and dad always went out of their way to make me happy and keep me safe. They hardly ever talked about Fred. I was selfish and felt terrible for not realizing it before. And Mariana? You can't blame Serena for jumping to conclusions when she doesn't know the truth. What truth? Suddenly, Mariana looked so sad, it broke my heart. My family had to flee Russia. Some really bad men were after my father, and I had to fake an injury, so they would give us quick visas to come to America for my medical treatment. Now, I can never go back, and I can never swim for another country if I want to keep my family safe. That's why I wanted to be part of the swim team so badly. But that doesn't explain why you're so mean and horrible. It's all I knew. In Russia, you don't become a champion by being nice one. and sweet. You have to be I mean, really one, tough one, one. and fight for your place. It will be a hard habit to break. But I see you all as competition. 
especially you. You're good. She said it reluctantly, but she said it. And I was on cloud nine. Aww, that's all I ever wanted to hear from you. Get away from me, or I'll take the words back. You can't take it back now. You think I'm good, and we'll be on the same team together. It's gonna be epic. Is your sister crazy? What is wrong with her? Why is she so huggy? <laughs> She's just really happy, and so am I. Okay. So we're gonna see who the most sour is. So we have this one. It's definitely not between this one and the blue one. It's between these two. I'm thinking this one. So this one wins. Good job to you. Strawberry bubblegum wins.